Hi everyone. I want to spend the next few minutes on a more serious topic. I want to share with you the challenges that I experience because of living with chronic pain. I first want to begin by defining the pain that I experience. There is a certain amount of pain that is consistent in my body. It doesn't go away. There's also pain that's very volatile. And what I mean by this is with very little movement, I can go from like zero out of 10 to between five and eight out of 10. One of the challenges with this is I honestly haven't been able to recognize all the patterns that trigger the moderate to severe pain. On account of this, it makes it really hard to book appointments and to be able to spend time with friends. You know, when my pain's bad, I'm better off in bed resting and getting my strength back than going out with friends because it makes the flare-up last so much longer. So the having a schedule that's hard to set appointments is a big thing for me that I constantly have to deal with. Now, The close friends in my life take this at face value that this goes on with me and their understanding about it. So spending time with a friend usually involves booking plan A for one time and then booking plan B for the backup in case I end up very weak and I'm just not able to pull it off and go with them at the first time that's been selected. The next challenge that goes with this is living with pain requires a certain amount of emotional stamina just to coexist with it. As a byproduct, there's decisions that I have to make that I often put off until I'm at my best so that I'm not letting my emotions weigh into it when I'm feeling weak or when I'm feeling vulnerable because of what the pain does for me. I also go out of my way to take care of my emotional well-being. There are friends that I can talk to honestly, openly, and without having to have a filter on about what this is like to keep my emotions in balance. So if you picture a pie that's been cut into three perfect slices, I see it as one slice being physical, one slice being emotional, and the third slice being spiritual, or the relationship I have with the Lord Jesus. So when you're in chronic pain, the goal is to keep the physical slice the same size as the spiritual and physical and emotional, so they're all equal. It's when the physical or the emotional gets out of balance that really affects me the most. So it's important to do things like, for me, nature photography, talking with friends, even these YouTube videos on sharing my life with you and trying to encourage you at the same time helps me coexist with my pain. You may need to find different strategies for your life, but that's what helps me. One other thing that helps me a whole lot 
is reflecting on the things that I couldn't do if my life had not gone down this path. So what I mean is there's been numerous special moments at the gym or in the community that would not have happened if I didn't have a physical disability. And in a weird way, I'm grateful for this. And I absolutely mean this at face value. The other big thing that affects me is that I would love to be married. I find it hard to want to date a woman when I'm dealing with all this stuff and there's not a heck of a lot of stability in my own life. There was also the instance in 2013 where the doctors were genuinely concerned about killing me on the operating table because of the amount of pain medication that I was needing leading up to that surgery to help resolve some of the pain that I was experiencing. I really hate to put someone through this. And I've talked about this at a lot more depth in a separate video that I'll put the link in the description for. However, you know, I went to see one of my close friends that I can talk to openly about this. And he said to me, would you put up with a woman's issues and the challenges she has? And of course I would. I wouldn't think twice about it, to be honest. And he more or less challenged me with my own words. The final big component to this is financial. At this point, money equals quality of life. And I'm trying to work hard to build a career out of all of this and redeeming the challenges that I've been through. This in itself is a process and I'll share more about this in a few weeks as my plans come together and I form what my goal is going to be and have it well defined. I encourage you to be self-aware, to have some friends that you can talk to openly and honestly that may not go through this themselves, but will take you seriously and still treat you with respect if you're struggling because of the pain. There's nothing to be ashamed with if you're struggling and you're bettering yourself and taking care of yourself when you face the issues head on. I break them down into manageable pieces because if you took my life as a whole and tried to figure out what you were going to do with it, it becomes an overwhelming problem. But when you break it down into manageable pieces, for example, how am I going to get to the toilet? What's it look like when I want to lay down in bed? These are manageable pieces that you can work with and find systems. And then as you build up systems for your entire life, it's a whole lot more manageable than tackling the whole thing all at once. I hope something that I've said will click and connect with you. I certainly want you to have the best quality of life possible. Thanks for this time that you spent with me today. Bye for now.